lot of research on it. And according to all the research, it was way worse than that. He f***ed me. Forcefully f***ed me, but knew exactly what he was doing. One of the most disturbing problems in our world today is human trafficking. And eradicating this crime is awareness. Go see Sound of Freedom. When I came over here, I was... Oh God, I was in my, my uh, mid-twenties right. the first time I really came over. You know, I had a whole bunch of weird paranoid suspicions about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand. In a world where the powerful often wield their influence in the shadows, revelations of suppression and silencing can send shockwaves through society. One such revelation comes from the enigmatic actor and filmmaker Mel Gibson, who recently shed light on his silenced experiences regarding the notorious Jeffrey Epstein case. In a candid and eyebrow-raising account, Gibson unveils a troubling narrative of how he, like many others, faced the suppression of his voice while speaking on an ongoing issue. Hold on to your seats, folks because there's an incredible story you need to hear. You won't believe who got tangled up in a huge scandal. Let's spill the beans on what Mel Gibson had to say. I wanted to leave. <laughs> and because I knew that I didn't want to work with him. Yeah. And he was getting scary. Yeah. Mel Gibson has always been vocal about speaking up on controversial topics. A few months ago, a movie named Sound of Freedom. This film packs a powerful message directed by Alejandro Monteverde and starring Jim Caviezel, Mira Sorvino, and Bill Kemp. It highlights the dark and alarming issue of child trafficking, revealing how innocent kids are in grave danger at the hands of evil adults. You'd think a movie with such an important message would be all over the headlines, right? Well, think again. The reality is quite the opposite. There's a shocking lack of media media attention, raising some eyebrows. The reason? The elites behind the scenes are doing everything they can to keep this movie under wraps. Why, you ask? Because it exposes some fishy business they'd rather keep hidden. Sound of Freedom is based on the real-life story of Tim Ballard, a former special agent for the Department of Homeland Security. He's on a mission to combat child exploitation and founded Operation Underground Railroad with support from Glenn Beck. The movie also carries a strong Christian message, emphasizing that God's children are not for sale, but the plot thickens. Sound of Freedom was initially under Disney, but they abruptly pulled the plug, baffling everyone. Rumor has it there's more to the story than meets the eye. Some believe these platforms deliberately ignore the movie to protect the elite figures pulling the strings. Mel Gibson himself hinted at the existence of these industry elites way back in 1998, and now the pieces are starting to fall into place. The scandal surrounding Sound of Freedom is just the tip of the iceberg. There's much more dirt waiting to be uncovered about these alleged industry elites. Elites, get ready to be shocked by what Mel Gibson has uncovered about Hollywood's elite, including Oprah Winfrey and the alarming lengths they'll go to exploit innocent kids. While Mel doesn't directly name Oprah in the movie, the connection between her and Harvey Weinstein is hard to ignore. Above all, the allegation of her being involved in human trafficking by being a helping hand to Jeffrey Epstein might provide some evidence about why they wanted to silence the movie. Now let's talk about Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein was a wealthy American financier and convicted sex offender who gained notoriety for his involvement in a high-profile criminal case involving sexual abuse and trafficking of underage girls. Born on January 20, 1953, Epstein worked in the financial industry and managed investments for wealthy clients, including numerous influential individuals from politics, academia, and entertainment. Epstein's criminal activities came to light in the mid-2000s when he faced allegations of sexually exploiting and trafficking underage girls. In 2008, he pleaded guilty to two state prostitution charges in Florida and received a lenient plea deal, which many criticized as being too lenient. He served 13 months in jail, but was allowed to leave the facility for work during the day. The case was widely criticized, raising questions about the influence of wealth and power in the legal system. Over the years, more allegations and legal actions emerged against Epstein, leading to his arrest in July 2019 on federal charges of sex trafficking of minors. His arrest renewed public interest in his case and the individuals associated with him. In recent events, rumors swirl on social media, suggesting that some big-name celebrities and important people like Ellen DeGeneres, Oprah Winfrey, the Gates family, and the Clintons are in deep legal trouble. But wait, it's not because of the pandemic that they're staying home. These posts claim they're under house arrest for something as serious as child trafficking. It's like a real-life mystery unfolding online, but it's crucial to approach such claims skeptically and seek reliable information before jumping to conclusions. A Facebook post that has garnered a whopping 32,000 shares said, it's crazy many people
WPPL Don't Know Oprah Winfrey on house arrest for <laughs> trafficking kids, as well as Ellen, Tom Hanks, Clinton's This List Is Long. In March, Oprah Winfrey hopped onto Twitter to set the record straight. She wanted everyone to know that the internet rumors about her Florida home being raided by the police and her getting arrested for <laughs> trafficking were false. Just got a phone call that my name is trending and being trolled for some awful fake thing, Winfrey tweeted. It's not true. Haven't been raided or arrested. Just sanitizing and self-distancing with the rest of the world. There have been claims circling that the philanthropist Bill Gates is tied to trafficking, all because of a rumor suggesting he visited Jeffrey Epstein's island several times. However, according to Reuters, even though Gates did meet Epstein, a closer look at flight records showed he never actually set foot on Epstein's island. Not just this, you won't believe another name that has joined the controversy. This man is a prominent figure in Hollywood and it is none other than Tom Hanks. In a bizarre conspiracy, Tom Hanks was accused of pedophilia because he asked people to wear masks. Now this is something very wild to make a conspiracy about. And during the global pandemic. Tom Hanks, the American actor, has successfully beaten the coronavirus. His straightforward message from earlier that month, directed at those who resist wearing masks and following recommended pandemic measures, is no surprise. During a virtual press conference, Hanks shared this comment. Media outlets, including Men's Health, reposted it on Facebook just this past weekend. He said, I don't get it. I simply do not get it. It is literally the least you can do. I simply do not get it. It is literally... A user beneath the post commented, I don't take advice from men who prey on little children. That post triggered some rather unusual comments, with some people accusing the legendary actor of nothing less than being a pedophile. I'm not anti-mask, but I won't listen to a consecutive passenger in the Lolita Express to Jeffrey Epstein's island, another user wrote. Another user commented, This is the same Tom Hanks who was on the island with Jeffrey Epstein and the young girls. Yes, Tom, tell us what we should do, you hypocrite. The investigations revealed that Jennifer Epstein set up a big operation for trafficking and abusing young women and girls in the Virgin Islands. The Virgin Islands Attorney General Denise George mentioned during the lawsuit against Epstein's successors that even girls as young as 12 were victim. It's quite certain that Epstein was involved in terrible crimes with young people. However, it's unclear where the accusations against Hanks come from or what evidence supports them. It is necessary to double check the information being circulated on social media as most of them are just wild suggestions and theories. However, the matter of concern remains. While Mel Gibson is trying to point a hint at these issues in Hollywood. Will he be able to expose everyone and manage to stay safe in Hollywood? That's it for today's video, guys. Bye.